Marco Polo was a Venetian merchant, explorer and writer who traveled through Asia along the Silk Road between 1271 and 1295. Born on 15 September 1254 in Venice in Italy, Marco Polo died on 8 January 1324 in Venice in Italy. Marco Polo said, I speak and speak, but the listener retains only the words. He is expecting. It is not the voice that commands the story. It is a year when I heard this sentence, it came very close to what Mahatma Gandhi said the earth has provided enough for man's needs, but not for his greed. As long as you don't have the greed, nature will provide. God will provide. Yes. When he provides, you should be ready to accept it. Hence, in India, in the Sanskrit term, in our Hindu tradition, we talk about Aditi Devo Bhava. Anytime you should be ready, anytime you should be prepared for whichever art you are. If you are a dancer, you must always carry your dance items. If you are a karate person, you always carry your gi and your black belt or your whatever belt you have. Yes. If you are an electrician, you must carry all the electrical materials with you. 24 bars, 24 bars, 7. Marco Polo said, I speak and speak. But the listener retains only the words he is expecting. When you go with expectations, Yes, Zen says, when you try to catch something, it goes away. If you hold it, it goes. You keep it open, it stays. But the listener retains only the words he is expecting. If you go with expectations, that means you already told the other person you are coming to grab something and they know you. They cannot open their heart. Hence, most of the lovers are living in fear. The girl is thinking a little suspicious about the boy, whether the boy is looking or I've got another girlfriend. And the boy, boy is always thinking, why? Maybe she's having another boyfriend. And because of these two problems, they grow up when they marry also, the husband and wife always thinks in the same line. Then they become father and mother, they start thinking in the same line. And throughout the life, expectations. Hence in our Hindu Samskriti, in our yoga, we say karma yoga. Karma yoga means keep doing work without expecting results. When you're expecting a baby, then it is pain. When you're not expecting, the baby comes off of its own. It happens. It strikes without thinking. <coughs> Answers flows without thinking. Please try to understand. I speak and I speak, Marco Polo said, but the listener retains only the words he is expecting. Then you will never explore anything. You will never feel, smell, taste, touch and see. It is not the voice that commands the story. It is not the voice. It is the year. And if you have the year, if you have the year, and Marco Polo says, listening is very important. And it is very close to what the Japanese team, 50 member Japanese team came to my ashram. Not now, some years back. Maybe 20 years back. When I just took this ashram, they wanted to create a Japanese. They saw my Japanese ofuro. They saw my Japanese garden, and they said, "Oh, very good." And they saw my I, my school is teaching Japanese language and Japanese culture to the students, and of course, we have karate too. 
So the head of the Japanese team told uh, Naoki-san, Naoki-san tell Rakum sensei that we are ready to give 50 lakhs for a, to expand and build up the Japanese project. I said, I don't want your money. Give me your knowledge, your technology, because money can go in five minutes, 50 minutes, 50 lakhs can go in 50 seconds. But technology stays longer. And that's the time the Japanese uh, leader told Naoki-san to explain to me that, no, we don't have technology. The only technology in simple terms we can tell you is, we go to the restroom, we go to the toilet. And they said, yes, we also go. No, no, we just wait. And the Japanese leader told, when you go to the restroom, when you come out of the restroom, we make sure another person should be able to use it. You are so conscious when you enter, you know where things have been kept and you keep it back and you even clean, dry it up and you come back. Yes, giving a finishing touch to every work. The follow-ups is the strength. It is the year. It is not the voice that comments Marco Polo said. It is the year. You have the year to hear after hearing. It comes out from this year. After hearing. Only if you are interested, first of all, you shouldn't go to any programs. If you go, you go with the cup empty Japanese. Zen master says, yes, when the Japanese uh, prophet, professor went to the Zen master, he got this appointment after five years. So the professor was prepared so much to meet. The moment he entered, he started asking so many questions to the Zen master. And the Zen master got up. He put the kettle into the fire and he boiled the water. He took the cup, he poured the tea into the cup and gave it to the uh, professor. And he kept the master kept on pouring the tea and it filled up and started spilling. And the, and the, Zen, and the professor said, Master, master said, What? And the professor said, Master, the tea is overflowing. And the Zen master, said, Your mind is overflowing. <laughs> Did you come to listen to me? Or you want to throw all your suppressed borrowed knowledge which you are not put into practice? Yes. It is not the voice that commands you, it is the ear. If you have the ear, if you if you go to a place to listen, then make sure you go with the cup empty. Totally, totally you have to take. Others, unless you don't waste your time going to the masters and asking questions. If you know, don't go. Please don't go. You are disturbing the ashrams. Yes. Otherwise, you go to listen with the cup empty, pure. No Brahmana Shatri Vaishya, no up and down, no black and the white, no rich and the poor. Just go with the empty heart, empty cup. And once you hear, you put it in proper soil. You practice and make sure what you heard. It's like a seed, you water it up and make it grow. You put the fence of the cows and other domesticated animals or own come and eat it up. You allow it to grow to make it grow and see it bigger and stronger. That day you were called a human being. That day people understood you are conscious, you're not unconscious. That day people understand that you are observant. When you become conscious and observant, they call you a Somaji. They call you a saint. Some people call you even God too. Some people don't even call, but the moment they see you, their hands go to folded hands and you can see them tears filling their eyes and you can see the happiness. Just simple. They know there is a person who is conscious. He is not a dead body. Like the women around the world are telling. My husband, the moment they talk, he opens the newspaper and says, dead. He can't hear what he went to. How much of he says he's dead. And say, when he tells her that she's dead. Dead people tell no tales. Marco Polo says, I speak and speak. But the listener retains only the words he is expecting. It is not the voice that commands the story. It is the ear.
Thank you.